Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. So I did actually believe my coverage of the 2019 Paris Air Show was finished, but there's probably this video and maybe a few more in the future that I'd like to cover, but they will not necessarily in the future be directly related to orders, more comments. I would just like to also mention that a lot of people have been asking for a complete order tally. I would do one, but a lot of people have already done one, and I'd recommend heading to websites like Flight Global for that sort of thing. Today, the focus is on Airbus, who I believe had a very successful 2019 Paris Air Show and probably came out as the overall winner. When writing a poll on my Twitter as to what manufacturer had the best air show, it would also appear that many of you believed Airbus had the best show as well. So Airbus released a great press release covering their air show at a glance and I thought I'd take a look at it with you all today. As we know, the A321 XLR was probably the most talked about aircraft and really moment of the air show on a whole. While the Max deal definitely caused a bit of a stir and certainly stole the spotlight, the sheer amount of orders and customers for a brand new aircraft that simply has an increased range of a previous model is certainly fantastic. Airbus has actually secured now well over 200 orders and commitments during the show and got orders from key customers, like that of Qantas, JetBlue, Aer Lingus, Iberia, the list can go on. They also got orders from various leasing companies. However, the A321 XLR wasn't just the only highlight. Airbus managed to also secure major upsizings of existing orders with customers. If you've been following my coverage, you may just know what I'm talking about. Often in contracts, airlines have lots of flexibility, and the A321 XLR saw a number of airlines upsize from, say, the A321neo or the A320neo to this larger aircraft with the added range. However, I would definitely say that AirAsia stole the show in terms of upsizing, as they moved 250 aircraft to the A321neo. While they are still expected to order one day the A321 extra long range, it was certainly a huge boost to the A321neo program. An aircraft that previously was doubted, the A330neo, also got some orders and commitments during this year's Paris Air Show. Cebu Pacific and Virgin Atlantic put their faith in the product. Coincidentally, both these airlines actually fly the A330CO. That means that the A330 new engine option is therefore a logical low-risk replacement for these aircraft down the line. But both these orders were for the A330-900. So far, this type is absolutely crushing the A330-800 in terms of sales, with the Dash 800 sitting at under 10 orders and commitments, while the Dash 900, I believe now with the new deals, sits at over 250 orders and commitments. The difference is staggering. The A220 type was also another aircraft that was shown a lot of love, with multiple leasing companies ordering the type. Yesterday alone, we saw JetBlue order an additional 10 and also firm up its orders for it. We saw Delta a few days prior to this order an additional 5 A220 100s. Of course, that's the smaller and more stubbier variant. What's notably missing though is the A350. We were assured though that business will come for this type, just not sadly at the air show. It's safe to say that this airshow was definitely dominated by the single aisle jets, with no 777X or A350 order taking place over the four days. With Farnborough almost right around the corner, I think we are all eagerly awaiting what's next and also what airlines are going to be ordering the A350 as promised by board members at Airbus. Once again, I'd just like to extend my thanks for following my coverage. Definitely stay tuned though, there are going to be more videos covering what's happened at the air show. Again, not directly related to orders, but more specifically what's going on in the industry when it comes to future aircraft, past aircraft, fleet replacement plans and so on. So definitely hit that bell still and hopefully you'll keep checking into my videos. Thank you very much and I look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Oh, well.